Greetings, viewers, and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be discussing a new feature on version 11 of Sage Trend Evolution. This new feature is the drill down option on the customer and supplier age analysis reports. Let's take a close look at this new feature. I'm firstly going to go into customers, reports, age analysis. At this point, I can go specify my filter criteria for the report, and I'm going to be running the report for all customers and say preview. And what we then have is details of our customers and the outstanding amounts per aging period. What you notice is that the values outstanding are displayed in blue, which signifies that they are hyperlinks. And for example, if you take one of our customers who happens to have amounts outstanding in various aging periods, I may want to determine or see exactly how these values are made up. So I'd simply go, for example, and click on the relevant value under 90 days. And I now have details of the value and how there's, and which is made up of these three transactions. What you'll also notice is that we've got a running balance available as a column. And if I simply go right click, I've got the ability to say customize grid columns, which will allow me to add additional columns onto the grid. And I also have the ability to say copy to Excel. So I can copy this information into Excel. On the top of the screen, we've got the ability to use the drill down and the source options. So I may decide to want to analyze a certain transaction, simply highlight the transaction, say drill down. And I now have details of the GL accounts which were updated when the transaction was processed. I can also use a source option and drill down to the source document of that transaction. So in this instance, we have an invoice which was processed and there are all the details of that invoice. At this point, I can also go to print and I can say reprint the invoice if required. We also have the ability to use a feature called stay on top. So stay on top allows you to open up multiple windows and perhaps compare different types of transactions. So I'm going to say use the stay on top feature here and I may want to now analyze details of perhaps the 30 day transaction. So let's just go into 30 days, I'm going to click on it. And what you notice is now I've opened up the 30 day information and I've got those details there that I can compare if need be. And I'll say stay on top again. And I may want to look at, for example, in this case, the current transactions. So I'm going to go to current. And there we have it. So I can now compare information for the three aging periods on the same screen by using the stay on top feature. So a very useful way for me to compare different aging periods and view those transactions on the same screen. So as you can see, the drill down feature is very useful as it allows you to analyze the transactions that make up the aging outstanding values from the report preview screen. The same feature has been applied to the accounts payable age analysis so I'm therefore going to go into Suppliers, Reports, Age Analysis, and once again, I can specify my report criteria, preview the report. I therefore, therefore then have my supply information together with outstanding values per aging period. And once again, I can simply go and do, click on the value, do a drill down, and also use the stay on top, drill down and source options available if I need to compare information for various aging periods. 
So as you can see, the new feature is very useful. It allows you to drill down on various outstanding values per aging period from the report preview screen. I do hope you enjoyed our presentation today. Thank you for tuning in. It's over and out from me, and goodbye.